Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over how to use an explicit formula for an aromatic sequence. An aromatic sequence is a sequence of numbers where the difference between any two successive terms is constant. This constant is known as the common difference. Okay, we have this sequence of numbers, and it's arithmetic because it goes up uh, the same each time. Okay, so in fact, if you add 5 to 16, you get 21. If you add 5 to 21, you get 26. If you add 5 to 26, and notice that it's a constant term. <clears throat> so this formula allows you to find, say you want to know the 55th term, then you just plug in uh, 55 for uh, N, and it gives you that term. But let's first go through and see what this all these terms stand for. Okay, so a n, the n would be the number of term you want. So say you want the 50th term, that would be 50. And then a1 is your very first term. In this example, it's 16 plus d is the common difference, which is 5. And then you have n minus 1. Okay, now if you would like, you can clean this formula up. So you have a n equals 16 plus, let's distribute the 5. Uh, 5 times n is 5n, and then 5 times a negative 1. Remember, with the signs are different, you it becomes a negative number. We now can combine terms. a n is equal to 16, and a negative 5 is 11 plus 5n. Okay? So now, whatever term we want, we can just plug it into this formula. You can also use this, but this is a little bit cleaner, okay? So now, let's test our work or check our work. Let's try to find the third term. So we're going to go A3 equals 11 plus 5 times 3. And that becomes A3 equals 11 plus 15 because 5 times 3 is 15, and then a3, in other words, the third term is equal to 11 plus uh, 15, which is 26, and that is correct. Let's work another example. Okay, let's see, uh, let's look at this example, and uh, if you will notice that each time it is going down by a negative 2, okay, notice that it is a negative 2. So now let's go ahead and, and work the formula and um, see what impact that makes. Okay, let's first, we have a n equals a1. Remember, it's the first term, and that's a 30. But instead of adding, we, we're going down. We're actually going down. We have a negative number, so it's negative 2 times n minus 1. Let's go ahead and clean this up. a n equals 30. Remember, uh, negative 2 times n is a negative 2n. But in this case, remember, when you have the same sign, it becomes positive. So it becomes a positive 2. Okay? So now let's combine terms. a n equals a 30 and a um, 2 equals 32 minus 2n. Okay, let's check our work again. Let's go ahead and go with the third term. So we're going to go A3 equals 32 minus 2 times 3 because it's the third term. So that becomes A3 is equal to 32 minus 6. And A3 equals 32 minus 6 equals 26. Okay, I hope that was helpful in figuring out how to use an explicit formula. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.